Hello YouTube, welcome back to Case Technologies. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install YUM packages with Ansible. I'm going to be using CentOS 8. So let's go ahead and begin. As you can see right now, I'm using Visual Studio and I already have the host file set up and I created my own Ansible directory over here on the left. And I want to have an HR group and a finance group to start with. So let's go ahead and create the uh, playbook that we're going to use. And I'm just going to call it app playbook.yaml. Remember that answer we use is YAML files. So let's go ahead and do the three dashes. And if you ever use Python, Ansible can be like that sometimes if you don't have your spacing and syntax correct. I'm just going to call this application installer. Host, we're going to do all, which is going to represent every file that's actually, every, every host that's actually in this file. And want to become yes because we want to elevate our privileges and become the root user. And we say become user, which is going to be root. And then for myself, I have to use this. I have to tell Ansible which interpreter to use because I'm using CentOS 8. So if you're using RHEL 8. or anything similar to it, uh, Fedora, RHEL 8, or CentOS, then you're going to have to do the same thing. But if you're using Ubuntu, um, you may not have to, but if you run into issues, just go physically log into your host and see what the actual Python interpreter is at that time. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the task. I'm gonna do name. Let's say install web services. I'm gonna say yum name httpd. That's what we use. And in the state, it could be present or latest if you always want it to be updated. Uh, present re represents that it's actually installed on the device. And we can say absent if we want it to be removed from the device. If you're trying to remove or uninstall said application, you would use absent. So we're just going to go ahead and go with present. And then after everything checks out, let me shrink this so you can see it. Let's minimize this. So after everything checks out, you have a name, your host, become yes, become users. You have your variables set up. Then the task block, your name, yum, package manager, the name and state. We'll go ahead and save it. And then you want to come to the command line, however you're using it, if it's the terminal, if it's Visual Studio with the built-in terminal, you're going to come to it, you're going to type in Ansible playbook, and you're going to say, you're going to list the playbook, and mine is app playbook.yaml, and then you're going to do dash I because we're doing a local host rather than the default host, which is under Etsy Ansible host. And then we're going to use dash u for user if you have a different user than root. And if you log in straight with root, which I don't recommend, but if you do, you just can specify dash u root. And you don't have to put in the become in there because you're already the root user. So I'm going to use case, it's the username on there, and then dash k. And then we're going to use dash dash become 
dash dash ask dash become dash pass. And right, what that'll do is it'll prompt you for the elevated password or the, the user that you're trying to become. So we're going to hit enter. We're going to get two of these prompts. We're going to go ahead and put in the password for it. And then now this is the pseudo user password. All right, everything's looking good. You can see it's green so far. All right. So it went through the play task. I mean, play application installer, the task gathering facts. That's where it gets all the information about these instances. Then we went to our task that we labeled install web services and it installed. 115 has a change, meaning that it had already been on there and some type of uh, variation or something. And it's just an OK from 116, meaning this is the first time it's ever been installed on that server or host. OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to show you. If we just want to specify one host group, we just type in HR, and that will represent this first one, 115. So we should see that when we come here, I'm going to tell it to make sure it's absent, and that should go ahead and remove it. So we go ahead, and, and now we run the same exact playbook. We don't have to put any different settings in or anything like that. Hold on, let me clear first. And we're going to do this, run it. And there's ways to get a around typing in the password. You can use um, SSH keys and things like that so that you don't have to actually type in a password. But for this video, I'm just going to be utilizing the password. And now we can tell that the change has been uh, made and I should actually change that to remove web services and voila that's how you would target just one group and then target the HR group there okay and if you wanted to we could also do latest upgrade like I said I mean latest absent and things like that so remember like comment subscribe and tune in for the next video